Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to go from this to this. So first thing, um, the reason I'm doing this video is in one of the Facebook um, Webflow groups, I've noticed this question here by David Wells Jr. asking, does anyone know a code to make the date show uh, for the current day? So what um, we're going to do here is I'm going to use um, a hack that FinSuite have provided us with, and I'm going to leave this link link to this hack in the description below. So we're going to use this FinSuite uh, number 14 hack, but I'm going to amend it so that we can solve this problem. So we're going to go back into Webflow here, and the first thing that I'm going to do is we're going to set up our current. Uh, the, the, we're going to set up the element that we want to change. So I've just very simply made a section, a container, a wrapper, and I've put in a heading. And this heading, I've given a span. So it's got, uh, can remove that for the moment. So what I'm going to do is that we highlight it, we wrap it with a span, and then that span, I've, I'm giving it this class called change date. Okay, so that's all we need to do. It doesn't matter what the text is in here. We can change this to, you know, a date, which the 1st of the 1st, 2021. It doesn't matter what it is. I've just written it down as change date. We can leave it like that because what we're going to be doing using the FinSuite hack is replacing this with um, some information that we're going to be storing in this span here called dat, uh, called change date. So now here is the code that we're going to be using. So as you can see, it's very, very similar to what we were using here in FinSuite, but I've just updated it. So in FinSuite, what we're doing is we're waiting for the DOM, uh, the DOM to load, and then we are going to look for the span which they used, 14-year um, hack. But what we're using is change date. And then they are they're going to be adding in the current full year into this uh, span class. So we're going to be doing something very similar. What we are doing is we are going to be looking for the DOM. Uh, sorry, when the DOM is loaded, we're going to be looking for this span cha change date. And then we are going to have to find, we're going to have to set up uh, what we want to be to put into that span. So the first thing what we want is our, our weekdays. So we created this here, which has got the, the seven days of the week and the months of the year. Now I've just abbreviated them. You can do what you want. You can add them as full months, or we can put um, have them as abbreviations. Now, the reason that we're doing this is because everything that uh, using these JavaScript, um, using the JavaScript, we are just showing numbers. I'll show you an example here. So we've got weekday, which is pulling from weekday, and it's counting true each of these, so going 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, today being day 1 of the weeks, because Sunday starts at, uh, Sunday would be 0. If I remove this, we're just going to see that today is day 1. But by adding in Adding in this, we are now showing Monday. So it's quite simple. We're just making a slight variation to what they did on FinSuite. And then we're doing the exact same thing here when we're for the months of the year. If I remove the variable, we just have month one, which is all right if we want it to be the first. So we're going one all the way through to 12. So I'm going to put it back. We're seeing February. So we're going 0, 1 to 11. 
Now, what I did then is I copied this, copied all this script, and then I went into the head and I pasted it here. And as you can see, it's very similar to what we did, what uh, Fin Suite did. The only difference is, is that I've added more options where we're counting the weekday, the date, the month, and the year. And then year span, we're changing the text that is year span to new date. So it's the, very, very similar when I save that and we publish it. We get this, the current date. So I hope that's been helpful. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I'm happy to help.